So now we gotta go find this weapon. You sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Uh, tears a whole lot of nothing. Oh, one of these things. Only one came out? <laughs> I'm goaded. I'm coming, Brock. He wants to go fight these wolves by himself. Oh yeah, look how much damage I'm doing. Easy. That was so simple. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. You the man, Brock. Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. That's civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk. They won't mind if I take this, right? Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. Oh. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Okay. Destroy the nightmare haunt to release the lift. Alright. Hopefully I can get one off. Nope. Two came out. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opened the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Pretty sure that's what this lift right here is for. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around see if there's a way to lift this lift? Um. Hmm. I think we gotta wait for him now. Hang on, coming around. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right, now I can turn this plane to that guy. You just give me the signal. Turn it again. Aye, aye. He is dead. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was so confused for a second. Hey, I got the crank cut. Once more. Aye, aye. Look around! Find an angle! I see it, I see it. Ah, promising. Okay. There you go. Right on the money. Get those. Come on through and get those cables. That's what we're supposed to do. I was I was kind of weird. I couldn't really figure it out for a second there. And then I saw that there was this geyser underneath it. So I figured that's what we had to do. Well, I think they seen it. Oh yeah, they can. Above you. Watch out. First we just take out the nest. Can ride on up to the ford. Come on, the lady's waiting. Okay. Got another riddle for you. What 
gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? <laughs> One of the most <laughs> lamest riddles I ever heard. Coming from Brock, though, what can you expect? Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the thing. <laughs> That's all Kratos had to say about it. Just, hmm. He literally pulled out his bag and literally, like, grabbed the wind. I smell trouble. Oh my god. Don't need you, Brock. Handle those two by myself. Lady, then. The lady of the forge. Ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a noke. But Sindri had never had it. Said a oh. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Brock? I've never seen you so ever. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. That's why Brock's my favorite character. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Hmm. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. So I guess we just sit here and wait for him. Man, this is... This is just amazing. So, uh... Okay, I wasn't really paying attention. I think he said to get this. Because he said something about material. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I get so caught up in trying to be the best that I work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. 
It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> um. Let's get back to business. I got no clue either. <laughs> I'm not going to take a guess. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. <laughs> we're going underwater. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your head. Alfie Vrater almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might. Bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It 
It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal Oh yeah. I'm whooping ass now. Donna hello. Oh. <laughs> it stays. Oh, that's so cool. It is the first weapon a Spartan learned. What hell? It's just like old time. It's strong too. So What what's that? Okay, uh, so I got to hold it, I think. I mean, I need to test it out more. No, I don't need to hold it. I uh, so I just need to like, click triangle, throw it, and then. Easy. So what the fuck? Oh, okay. It's already done. Guess we're doing this one boy style. I thought there was gonna be like a bigger kind of like boom. I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbin liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make guy dies he's got the right to know about it true we all die sometime many of us more than once no never mind all that we got to finish putting the spear through our paces come on you gotta break in the spear what just spitting on me toxic Come on. So what does this do? It's like, it just like blows them back. It's like a gust of wind. Oh, okay. I see it. I think that's it. Um, uh, what? Oh, 
Jesus, there's more. One sec. Let's try to get this. And then there's that right there. Oh yeah. the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. Yeah, but I say that's too that's too big brain right there. I don't Doesn't seem like Brock the type. My balls make it you better beat them out. Oh yeah, come on. Jesus. Well, that was creepy. Hey, good eye. That would get you right up there. Spear must be talking to yourself. It's all about the proper angle. So you want it straight, I'm telling you, you're too far to the side. Shut up, I'm trying to figure it out, Brock. Whoa, there we go. You ain't done this before. See? Brock over here making fun of me. Try my best. Here's one of these things. Hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. Sounds good. Oh my god. <laughs> of the both of you and we can call a square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps Mamiya. <laughs> very well 